Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Not for me. Because guys in your position already said it enough? Followed your case a little bit, you being a Macon boy and all. You're from Macon, then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over, right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for incoming to one. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious, if I do say so. In the road! This other time...
Hey! Hey, officer! Are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here! Why the hell did he have his gun out? Damn it. Anybody? Go 
I wonder if anybody's home. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Hello? There's something going on. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah, shit. Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. That's a Savannah area code, but that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. What's that beeping? Maybe there's something on there. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before you spring break. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Ugh! 
Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? I think something else did. Before me, I think. I heard her scream two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Two nights ago? Yeah, that's probably what happened. You've been... All by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to get out of this neighborhood. It's not safe. We're less likely to be seen if we move at night. My parents might come home. We won't go far. We'll try to find shelter and come back here with others. That sounds good. We can hide in my treehouse until then. It'll be a tough climb with this leg, but that's a good idea. Let's go. Stay close to me. Let's stay quiet. We'll head out to the front yard and follow the road out of the neighborhood. Okay. It'll be okay. Stay near me, and we'll move as fast as we can. things neither of us are oh damn you've got a little girl we're sorry about that well andre's sorry about that it's officer mitchell my name's sean sean green this is andre officer mitchell did you see any of those things one of them just got our buddy chet i saw a lot in the forest but that was a while ago. Yeah, one we're looking for is still in the neighborhood. Oh shit, you hurt your leg pretty bad. Look, help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He should be able to fix your leg up too. I'm not a dad. I'm... Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just were. Oh shit! It's Chad! Let's go! Get to my car! Go!
Say hi to your dad for me. Yeah. I'm sorry, Sean. Chet was a good dude. One of the best. Take care of you two. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I ran into Andre outside of Atlanta, and, uh, Chet. He got killed. No. You're kidding. Those things got him. Dad, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, Sean. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? I, I fell, trying to get away from one of those things. That's so. What type of danger has the girl seen? The kind there's a lot of. She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping her company. I still just can't imagine it. Consider yourself lucky. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm um, looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. With what happened to your friend? Maybe that's not a bad idea. It smells like... I know what it smells like. Duty. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Hey, get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and 
Personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. 